Welcome back to another video about 368. So last video I did told you about why I wanted to be the gaming manager or apply for the gaming role at 368. Now I didn't really tell you much about why I think I should be the right person for a job. So let me just do that. I've got everything I need to say right here. So for this role, what I will be doing is making a website once I get the job. And yes, I said once I get the job, I'm staying optimistic. Now, I'll make a website for any gamers in the world to upload what they think their gaming team or what gamers should have. So that's that's the first thing. Now, this could be anyone, any ethnicity, any age, any games to play, literally anything in the world. Now, that will go on to my second topic. Depends on which games we play, depends on what we need. So I can give you a rough budget of how much it's going to cost for a gaming PC and how many PCs you roughly need for a team. So let's get into that. So one computer will cost you a minimum of $2,000. Now you're going to throw in two more monitors into that, which is going to cost you around $400 to $500 on top. That's not including any peripherals, that includes keyboard, mouse and headphones which is going to cost you an extra $300 for the good versions of each one because for a gaming team you want the best of the best. Now there's a lot more to include, uh, including games, the Wi-Fi because you need a good Wi-Fi signal and there's, there's some more, let me, let me touch on that real quick. So like I just said, there's more things to consider. A being the Wi-Fi, so the speed of the connection, so you can play the most optimal games at the high settings. B being what kind of game slash team you want. So this could be anything from Fortnite to CSGO to Call of Duty, it literally could be anything. And C, the third thing that we need to include into the list of a price is any miscellaneous items, so mouse mat. Headphone stand, the desk for example, any monitor mounts that we may need, we have to include that as well. So that's my list of equipment that we need for this 368 gaming roll. So I don't know if I explained it as well as I wanted to, but basically I just want a place where creators can come in, stream whatever games they want, record whatever games they want, and then I can pick out the underdogs, yes the underdogs, for people to go on a professional team that will be entered into tournaments so this is my whole idea about it and it's for the gamers hence why I want to make the website to know what they want what in particular they need so obviously I do know a lot myself but I'm just one person it's better to get a lot more ideas on this whole scenario so that's my last video about 368 if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a like and also hit the subscribe button down below because I'll be doing some more videos soon. Um, I'm trying to try and do once a week, so stay tuned. But I'm not sure what day I'm going to upload on yet. But like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.